Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for joining me here on Exploit Security. As always, I am your host CyberMonkey and this YouTube channel is all about documenting my journey to earning the OSCP. So for the last couple of weeks, we've been going over the Defend the Web series, which is an interactive security platform that pen testers, hackers alike can go there and go through several challenges to kind of refine their skill set. It's great for beginners. I definitely recommend it if you are jumping into pen testing. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So for today, we're going to be going over 24-bit. 24-bit, um, I did about three weeks ago, so I don't remember too, too much about the details in order to get the solution or to solve the problem, uh, but we're going to find out together. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And um, so as you can see, we have a little link here where we can download a file. So let's go on and start off and just kind of download that file. Uh, so it looks like a text file. Great. Awesome. Um, so let's go on and pop open that terminal. Um, so when you download it, it should go straight to your downloads by default. Oh, sorry about that. And what is going on with my typing today? There we go. All right, so that is um, not at all what we were expecting. Uh, so let's clear that out. Um, we certainly were not expecting that. So let's take a look at that, which we probably should have done first. Uh, so PC bitmap. Okay, so let's give this a shot. So the files listed as PC bitmap, which if I remember correctly, is the file extension BMP. Um, so let's just go ahead and try to change that from text to the BMP file extension. So the, the GUI for um, Cali 2020 is really kind of hinky. I can't remember the name of it, but um, you get weird flashes like this whenever you're messing around within the terminal or other parts of the operating system. Um, so hopefully that's a bug they work out. If, if anything, I'll end up doing just a, a fresh install with a different GUI if it gets too much to handle. All right, so what we did was um, we downloaded that file and when we took a look at the file, um, we got a bunch of just gobbledygook. I mean, it was essentially unreadable. Um, so we took a look at the file type for that b1.txt file and it looked like it was actually a, a photo. Um, so we went ahead and changed the file extension to BMP. Um, and then we just opened it up and as you can see here, we have the user listed as paint and the password listed as rules. Um, so let's go ahead and just kind of see if this works. Um, see if it was just a false lead or not. You know, with this, um, the COVID-19 circulating the last couple of weeks, my network has slowed down quite substantially. Um, I mean, it's pretty noticeable. I, I commonly have issues just getting a browser to load and it, it's not consistent. It's, it's very, um, random. I'm, I'm just assuming it's at traffic times. Maybe the ISPs throttling, um, our data limit. I'm not sure, but. All right, so we didn't get any readout for that. So let's try that again. Nice, all right, perfect. So it looks like we were correct in that. So the B1 text file was actually a BMP file extension. Um, once we actually just kind of changed the file extension over, opened it up, we were able to see a photo with the username and password included within that photo itself. Uh, and when we entered that username and password, it looks like it all worked out. 
So fun challenge. I know when I initially went through three weeks ago, it took me a little bit longer to do. Um, like I said, I, I didn't remember this fully, but you know, it was, it was nice jumping into. Last time I do remember, it took me a little bit longer. So don't think I'm burning through these challenges like nothing. Um, I'm actually going through solving the challenges and then a couple weeks later, I'm, I'm filming them for everyone. So it's not like I'm just kind of jumping in and just solving everything like that. I'm, I'm still a student, uh, but I enjoy sharing um, what knowledge I have with everyone. So if, if you did enjoy the content, you know, I, I definitely ask that you like, share and subscribe. It goes a long way. I think I hit 93 subscribers a day, which is, which is awesome. I mean, it's a good feeling. I like being able to help everyone else out and share content with everyone, especially with everything going on in, you know, today's, you know, with current events and everything. Um, so what we're going to do is of course, you know, same standard thing. We're going to try to push out two or three videos. Uh, maybe a little bit more. I might do some live stuff. I've been meaning to get around to learning Python for the longest time and I, I've tried all the various websites you can go to that has those tutorials, but it just doesn't fit my learning style. Um, so we're going to try something else and we're going to see um, if I can find my learning style for a programming language. So we might get into that later or maybe next week, but we'll see. But anyways, if you did like the content, like I said, please like, share and subscribe. Your support goes a very long way. Um, and it's very motivational knowing that other people are getting some sort of value from the videos I am posting. And other than that, thank you so much for tuning into Exploit Security. And I will catch everyone in the next video. Later, everyone.